Hey, what's up, guys? This is Quasimo bringing you another video tutorial. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to make your drums hit harder. A lot of you guys' drums sound like pots and pans, and I'm tired of it. So, here is a trick or tip or secret or whatever you want to call it whatever it is I'm showing you so it's no longer a secret how to make your drums hit harder as you can see I already have a basic pattern the drums this this track is actually created by my man Joey glasses It's called toy beat I was in the studio one day and I was like yo that beat is dope she let me add some more stuff to it he said all right so he gave it to me that's what's up. Good looking on that, Joey. I promise you I ain't going to let you down. But first, let's start with these drums. I'm going to play the track, let you hear it. And then I'm going to sh show you tricks and stuff. Actually, let me mute out the tricks. <laughs> I'm going to show you some tricks on what I did and show you exactly how I did it. I right, say so here's the beat. So that's a quick, you know, four bar loop. So on the mic, on, I use Reason. That's my weapon of choice. Obviously, if you could you see it, could you see it open? But Reason is my weapon of choice. And I really like the way it emulates the SSL console, like the actual hardware console. Like this software is dope. Propeller Head mastered that aspect of this. So good job propeller heads so with reason 7 they made it a lot easier to create a parallel channel now for those of you who don't know what parallel processing is I would definitely take the time to go YouTube or Google what parallel processing is and what it does so you can have a better understanding of what I'm saying I don't feel like explaining it. Okay, so here on the mixer strip, on the SSL mixer console, I have the regular track, which is. Let's just focus on the drums. That's the. This is the main loop. Okay, so on the parallel strip, if you was to create a new parallel strip, it'll give you the exact same sound that that this channel is giving you, Mixer 1. So you can have unlimited number of parallel channels and EQ them in different ways and it won't affect your original audio signal. So that's the overall. So on I have two parallel strips on it. One and two p1 and p2 what I like to do is I like to take out the lows like I like to isolate the frequencies so if you go into the frequency analyzer you can see here I have it just in this I have the high pass filter cut off and a low pass filter cut off on a certain frequency that's just to add a little bit more to the original track to brighten it up in the mids. So I'm gonna play the original track. Actually, this is the that's the parallel track. That's the original track. Parallel one. Original. Now when you mix both channels together get a nice feel. For those of you with actual speakers you would be able to hear the difference. Or if you got a good really good pair of headphones you'll be able to hear the difference too. So that's one and two. Here's three. So what I did with this I wanted to brighten it up and have the high part of 
those drums kind of like echoing. So what I did was create a send effect on one. I created a R7 reverb, which is here. I chose the preset, which is the AMB cabinet. I turned the send effect all the way up because that's really all I really wanted to hear and I brought the volume of it down so let's hear it all together that's just some of the things you can get done with parallel processing. This is your boy Quasi Mo from American Boys Entertainment. I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.